My name is Aman Kumar and I am pursuing my M.Tech in Embedded Systems Technology from SRM University, Chennai. My project for the TI-MCU Design Contest 2012 is an RTOS based WSN network using Simplicity as a communication protocol. Now, I'd like to begin with a simple introduction of what wireless sensor networks actually are. They are spatially distributed autonomous sensors capable of measuring various parameters such as temperature, humidity, vibration, etc. and reporting to a base station where further processing of this information can be done. Let's take a closer look at the hardware I'm going to be using for my project. Here we have the EZ430 RF2500 wireless development tool provided to me by Texas Instruments. Let's have a look at what are the components on the board. This is the MSP430 F22740 16-bit uh, microcontroller. This is the CC2500 ultra low power radio and the following pins over here are for further development. We can add external sensors and various other devices to the particular sensor. This white strip over here is the antenna capable of transmitting and receiving the data. The other kit over here is basically similar in hardware to the previous one. Only thing we have over here is the programmer which is separately attached to the device. We can unplug the device as can be seen here. This is the wireless sensor node that we are going to be using. The following is the block diagram or the conceptual view of the entire project. On the right hand side, we look at the hardware components that is the MSP430 microcontroller, the CC2500 wireless radio and the spy by wire uh, USB interface to connect the device to the computer. On the left hand side, we are looking at the software setups. At the bottom of the page is the board support package which provides us with all the various functionalities such as initializing the hardware, the LEDs, uh, setting the system clock, etc. Above that we have the free RTOS operating system which is an open source real time operating system designed for embedded applications. Above that we can see the Simplicity protocol. As the name itself suggests, it is a low power communication stack designed by Texas Instruments for simple transmission and reception of radio data. Besides that is the user defined tasks which in this particular implementation have been designed to measure voltage as well as temperature values from the onboard sensors of the kit and transmit this data to the base station. In the next slide we have the system overview. Over here we can see the two nodes. The node on the right which is the base node is connected to the computer and the node on the left which is connected to the battery pack is a remote node. As you can see on the remote node there are four components, free RTOS, that is the free RTOS real time kernel, the simplicity protocol stack and there are two user defined tasks. Task 1's job is to read the temperature and voltage values and transmit them over the radio interface. Task 2 at the moment has been left empty for future development. On the right hand side which is the base node we can see again four components, free RTOS that is the RTOS kernel, simplicity again the protocol stack and you have two user defined tasks. Over here task 1's job is to read the data from remote node 1 and task 2's job is to re read the data from remote node 2 and all this information is made available over the COM port which can be later viewed on the computer. So now we are going to see the demonstration of the project working. I have the various devices configured according to my requirements. The two nodes that I have, we have over here are the remote nodes end device 1 and end device 2 and the base node is connected to the computer. The information from the base node and the various remote nodes will be available on the computer screen that can be seen through the PuTTY software. Now I am going to switch on the device and as you can see uh, the readings are available on the screen. I am going to switch on the second device. Again the, uh, the readings from the second device are also available on the screen. What you are looking at basically now is a string being printed from the uh, base node capable of measuring the device temperature itself and it is also printing the data that it is receiving from the various other remote nodes as well. So now that we have seen the demonstration of the project working, we come back to the application of such a system. Now the wireless sensor network market is worth billions of dollars where applications range from civilian use all the way up to military use. So a system of this nature which is highly flexible and modifiable can be used by WSN application developers. They can modify the operating system which has been designed to be preemptive or cooperative. They can modify the simplicity protocol stack for the various uh, configurations, various communication setups and they can also add hardware to the particular system. Such a system can also be used by students in order to learn 
and design low power hardware as well as software based wireless sensor networks. In the slide in front of you, we can see the justification for using a real time operating system in a wireless sensor network. The operating system hides the low level details and provides a clear user interface. It provides processor management, scheduling policies, multitasking, concurrency management and inter-process communication and it does all this while meeting the real-time deadlines. I'd like to thank Professor V. Natrajan from Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, SRM University, Chennai, whose constant encouragement and guidance has made this project possible. I'd also like to thank Texas Instruments for providing me with a wonderful opportunity of participating in such a competition. Thank you so much for watching.